off to Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so this guy, let me tell you, this guy has like a fish camp built here and it's built out of nothing but recycled materials. We survive! <laughs> We also are including a free pair of birds that are hidden underneath these shelves. Ow! Oh, the boat's gone. Whoa. I thought I was gonna go airborne. <laughs> if you're pregnant, don't buy this. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Today I'm gonna be showing you a 2000 AM General Humvee. This is a four-speed variant. It's a basic build of ours and it's a truck version. This is formerly a ambulance that we converted into this style of truck. Also, we have two other vehicles available right there. One's a four-speed, one's a three-speed. They're both on our site, bullamotorsports.com. Be sure to like and subscribe below so we can give you more content like this. I'm gonna start off with an exterior walk around on this specific truck. Really nice unit. Uh, we did a, it's a basic build, so we have used top, used doors. We painted it in complete green. The wheels are black. We do have truck light LEDs in the front, and it does have a winch mount, but there is no winch included. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the engine bay and I'll go over what we did there. So it's powered by a 6.5 liter diesel. We've completely serviced it. Uh, this is one of those trucks that they sprayed the waterproofing throughout everything. So there's, you know, there's gonna be like a brown texture throughout. We put a new belt, a uh, new alternator, so this specific truck has a full fording kit, so you have the ability to uh, operate your EGR. So when you click that switch, it will create positive pressure on all your vent lines and not allow water to come in. It also has a fording exhaust and all the correct lining along with the transmission and oil dipstick. Those are both sealed, so you can see that they're the same as a gas tank. You see that right there? You have to twist it to release it. It runs and drives excellent. We've taken it through its paces and we're gonna do that again today. Uh, as you walk down the driver's side, you're gonna see that it's a pretty straight body. So if someone wanted to convert this to a four-man truck, they can do that. It's really easy. All you need is a new B pillar and C pillar along with your crossover bar. You can actually reuse this B pillar, but it's, it's a really simple design. They use all the same framework for all the models that they have presently. This will come off easily. And then these are actually your seat backs if you look back here. So this will come off and slide in place and you use a lock right here. And then you have your cushion that would mount there. It's really nice. Let me open up the tailgate. All fresh and clean. Airlift bumper as well. It does have a tag light bracket with an LED light so that you can be street compliant. Passenger side looks really good. I don't see any dents or dings. A couple of scrapes, nothing bad. Tires have about 95% tread. Passenger side looks really nice. Brand new batteries. And then we recovered the high back seats so that they have a beautiful black vinyl and they look great. Let's go ahead and jump in it and take it for a ride. Okay, so we're gonna put it into the run position, wait for the weight light to turn off, and then we're gonna fire it off. Uh, so glow plugs are ready. Starts right up, it's nice and quiet. This is your fording controlling. So if you're gonna be fording, you're gonna go into deep forward. I'm gonna leave it in vent for right now. Our alternator's charging. We've got 55 pounds of oil pressure. It's cold because it just got started. Fuel gauge is showing half, and it shows 1,592 miles, and those are definitely the original miles. What I like is it does have an RPM gauge, 475 hours. RPM gauge works as it should, and we install these. This is like a must-have if you have a Humvee. Get these. You're not gonna have glare in your eyes when you're driving, no reflection, nice pieces. Go ahead and put it in reverse and take the brake off. This thing is so smooth. You can tell the difference when you're looking at trucks. If you see this shifter, that means it has a 4L80. 
that has the one that only has a neutral as your as your park. So this has a park as well. That means it's a TH350. Right now we're in the high position. Our lights are on as well. You saw that at the beginning of the video. Go ahead and go to storage to get a microphone. But if, I mean, it's peppy. Shifts good. Take corners easy. All right, let's go take it for a ride. We're going to put it in drive. We're going to go down Ravenswood. I'll test that a little bit. It's been raining on and off, so we might have some fun. Shifts really smooth. When you get on it, the shift pattern does change a little bit, so it's more aggressive. Once I turn right here, I'll just get on it so we can get it up to operating speed. You ready? That's full throttle. Sounds really healthy. We're at 55 miles an hour right now. That's a lot faster than the four-speed transmission. And right now, we're at 1,100 RPMs at 50. So you can definitely go on the highway and cruise. Nice and smooth, too. No bounciness. We're going to go over some bumps here. I just love the pickup variant because you can just open it up and throw whatever you want back there. And if you do have friends that come, you literally fold this up and you can put the seat in place. Let me go ahead and turn around here. I'm gonna roll this up so we can get some more air. That's the best part about this, so. All you do is literally pop this, and then you can roll it up. There's one right here. You grab that side in make sure this is straight and then through the secondaries tighten it up now we got some fresh air let's go you ready time attack We're gonna enter in. First stage of the car. Oh, 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 oh. oh Jesus Christ! Feeling good so far. No one's falling out. Just went over the roots. You okay? Yeah. Well, let's drop it down then and get some gear in here. Oh, oh. <laughs> we survived! <laughs> Holy crap! Ow! That was intense! Whoa! I thought I was gonna go airboard. I'm a little fedazzled off that one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna enter into the sand pit now. This is our common area to test these trucks out. We actually have someone that's living on the property here. So let's see if they're still here or they got, or if they left. I don't see the tent anymore. What you're hearing that noise is the backing of the seats touching metal to metal. So easy to go through this sugar sand. like nothing. Let's see if this guy's still here. Do you see the house? So this guy, let me tell you, this guy has like a fish camp built here. It's built out of nothing but recycled materials. We're gonna show it to you right now. Let's see. Yeah, I'll leave him alone. Let's let him sleep. Let's 
we'll go take a look at his fishing camp right now. So it's right over here. I'm gonna turn in here right now and I'll show it to you. Looks like he's been doing some uh, landscaping. Sorry about all the noise, it's just the metal. Oh, it washed away. That's not good. Let's see if his boat's still here. Oh, the boat's gone. You think he's out on it? I don't see it. Oh, that's the end of our adventure. By the way, the truck's running great. It's not overheating. The four-wheel drive is working as it should. If you have any questions about this specific truck, give us a call at 954-363-2261. It's a fully serviced unit, all new fluids and filters throughout. Um, and we can do a, a four-man conversion if you'd like, but I just love how the two-man... Look at the space you have. It's un unreal. Oh, there's the boat. They took it out of the water. That's that, yeah, they ripped it out. They ripped it out. Yeah, that's it. Look at this nice hill of dirt. That was his boat. All right, back on our test drive. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on 95. I'm gonna show you the benefits of having a 4L80 transmission in a Hummer, or a Humvee, my apologies. Hopefully it's gonna get pretty windy because we have the back open. But I wanna show you the speed and the RPMs once we get to 60 miles per hour. That's gonna make a big difference on why you purchase one of these and the cost difference between an M998 and this one. We also are including a free pair of birds that are hidden underneath these shelves. What I'll do is I'll accelerate until we get to 60 and then I'll hold off on the throttle and you'll see what the RPMs are. Good shot.